In recent years, computers have bested humans at a number of endeavors, from classic TV game shows to centuries-old pastimes. But when it comes to more nuanced uses of language, such as those found in literature with its wordplay and irony and symbolism, computers have had a much tougher time with it. But thanks to a field of computer science known as natural language processing, it's getting better, and it's one of the reasons that we have smart speakers and why phones can finish our sentences. It gained interest in the 1970s when the U.S. government used it in an attempt to translate documents from the USSR. Due to limitations at the time, though, it didn't really work. But natural language processing has progressed since then, and today it's shaping our world in ways that we never imagined. So natural language processing is one of the areas of artificial intelligence. It has been claimed that uh, if a computer has to prove that it's really intelligent, it has to understand human language. For example, translate uh, from one language to another, ask questions, uh, summarize documents. So this is usually done with automatic algorithms, such as neural networks, that look for patterns in the data and uh, try to uh, come up with good answers uh, to those questions. So humans uh, learn language gradually. They learn from the environment based on reinforcement from their parents and their friends and watching TV. Whereas uh, computers uh, just use very simple pattern matching. You feed them uh, a lot of training data. They look at uh, large quantities of text, for example, in the entire Wikipedia or billions of uh, Facebook pages, uh, millions of news articles. And they try to find uh, common patterns among them and uh, they figure out how to represent the meaning of those sentences and try to understand uh, thus uh, the meaning of each individual sentence. Now, uh, it is very clear that if you go beyond newspaper text, uh, you get uh, additional challenges. For example, poetry, humor, sarcasm are very difficult to translate because sometimes they're difficult even for humans and computers are very literal. They cannot understand the subtle nuances of human language and in particular they cannot recognize the intent of the speaker. Natural language is very different because it has a lot of ambiguity. There are many different types of ambiguity. We can have ambiguity at the word level so a certain word can have multiple meanings that can confuse computers. We can also have ambiguity at the phrase level. So in the expression to let the cat out of the bag or to kick the bucket, kick a bucket, you know, we have idiomatic expressions which are called non-compositional. So this presents a challenge in natural language processing systems because they essentially think of phrases as the combination of the meaning of the individual words that are in the phrases. I, I think in five to ten years, computers will be really good at understanding everyday uh, sentences. So personal digital assistants will be very common and they will be able to engage in dialogue with the human rather than just answering individual questions or performing individual commands. Uh, I don't think that there will be ever a time where computers uh, will be uh, as good as humans at every language task. There are certain tasks that will always be beyond their uh, limits.